All right, everybody. Um, thanks to this uh, this European, um, you know, sustainable financing taxonomy stuff, I wanted to, you know, do some calculations. And I based my calculations on the material use for Vestas turbines. Now, they are so kind to give us uh, a full readout of, you know, what's in their turbines. This is a little bit small for those who have bad eyesight, but just let, let, let me tell you, they, they basically, you know, they lay it out pretty well for you. So, um, first, first of all, uh, a wind turbine blade, so one of the you know one of the blades uh, each each turbine has three some have four but most have three uh, the blades are basically composites they are composites of uh, glass fibers and carbon fibers and then you know a whole lot of resin and polymers and whatnot but they're basically single you know um they're basically just one big piece and there's no sections or anything in them. They're just big, ugly, <laughs> you know, things that are not that complex, actually. Well, they are complex, but not that complex. Um, so basically, this is the breakdown of all the uh, available wind turbine uh, types that they sell and I figured out that in terms of the tonnage per megawatt, the V136 4.2 is the most efficient. So it's a 4.2 megawatt wind turbine and it uses 5.26 tons of uh, glass and, oh no, sorry, uh, wait a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I make a mistake? Yes. No, I didn't make a mistake. So it's good. It's good. We're good. Um, so um, the the most optimistic, the most optimal use for um, for for glass and carbon uh, fiber is uh, five point seven nine tons per megawatt. Now we have about five hundred and ninety one gigawatts installed today. So in the best case, that means that three point four million tons of um, of wind turbine blades have been installed at this moment given you know that vestas uh given these vestas wind turbines now i don't know if this is the most optimum whether there's uh better versions out there but i'm 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 you know i'm confident that this is this gives us a good representation especially since uh, as you can see over here on the right, uh, there's blades that are much heavier, that are much heavier. So I'm using the most optimum scenario. There's 3.4 million tons worth of blades installed in the world. Now, the interesting bit is, um, suppose we want to build 10 terawatts worth of these uh, wind turbines. That means that we need to you know, use uh, 75 million tons of non-recyclable blades. And that's 7 million blades each 25 years that we have to, you know, get rid of somehow. If it's 20 terawatts, this is Mark C. Jacobson, uh, uh, Mark C. Jacobson um, region. Uh, then we need 115 million tons. And if we built uh, 30 terawatts, that would be 173 million tons based on these optimum figures. Now, the funny thing here is if you look at all the crustal resources of uranium known and inferred at this moment, it's about 6 million tons, 6 million one, uh, something, uh, something along those lines. And uh, so I wanted to see, you know, what kind of an area you would have to uh, reserve for all these uh, turbine blades, uh, you know, assuming that you don't do anything with them after you tear down the wind turbine, you, you just basically park the stuff somewhere and you leave it there, right? 
Um, so the uh, blade dimensions of the 136 4.2, uh, basically the area is 273 square meters. Now, if you take all these turbine blades, uh, after 25 years, 7 million of them, that's about 1,953 square kilometers. And if you do 30 terawatts, that's 5,860 square kilometers. So that's an awful lot. Now, the funny thing is, if you take, for instance, a cubic meter of uranium, um, or better, if you take one ton of uranium, that's 0 0.05 cubic meters. So that's not a lot that's that's you know it's, it's actually it's quite tiny but suppose that you stack you know uh, uranium up one meter above the ground uh, you would only need 300,000 square meters now that's the area of you know a big Walmart let's see uh, what's 300 uh, 300 uh, square meters biggest building in the world in the world by floor area that's what i want to know so that's right now the new century global center does it give me a floor area for this thing uh, terminal 3 18.9 million square feet oh my god now i have to do this square square feet to meter two all right so 18 9 1 2 1 2 3 so let's uh let's see we we said 300 thousand right so it would fit in this building it would fit in this building easily <laughs> you could you could store all the uranium on the planet and add some wind turbine stuff to it you know and you could store it in this building so uranium isn't that big of a problem now why would i want to do this and that's that's because of the european taxonomy stuff uh, basically they are saying that nuclear is not sustainable because we don't have an answer for the waste now what i'm showing you here is that basically the waste from wind turbines wind turbines wind mills i don't i don't know how to best uh you know announce them um is massive it's it's incredibly big it's even if you look at it from a a, a sheer mass size alone 173 million tons if we would built 30 terawatts worth of windmills i mean that's that's like that's like 30 times more than uranium all the uranium we can unearth today not counting the the the, the ocean uranium um it just boggles the mind that these people are so blinded to these facts and 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 i mean we can look at it in terms of mass because uh you can always you know chop these things up and put them in a landfill or i don't know add some resin and make planks out of them or whatnot but i mean it just there's no comparison it, it, making a problem out of uranium is i don't know you know most of you know my rationale uh, put it in a bag so that's all for today um if you want this sheet just send me an email i will i will send it to you uh, thank you all for watching have a nice day Bye bye